Welcome, friends. Let us delve into the third chapter of the portion of Noah, chapter 7, verse 17. To put it plainly, it rained for forty days. The water rose as high as twenty Hamesh Ezriama, becoming stronger and stronger, and stronger and stronger. In this context, we're reminded of our duty to serve civilization, specifically those who spread knowledge and ethical teachings to the world. This service is like feeding a lion. It may go unacknowledged, but we must persist. The waters ruled over the earth for a total of 150 days. When humans act wickedly, even compassion can turn into justice. Prayer, however, has the power to balance these two attributes. Our timeline comes from Rashi. We learn that the waters began to recede and chill after 150 days. On the 17th of Sivan, the ark found its resting place on Mount Ararat. The excitement here arises from the story of Elio, Anovi, and Ahab. For the proclamation of famine to take effect, the prophet must survive. The dove, the bird known for doing good, plays a key role in this. The flood lasted an entire year, from the 17th to the 27th of Hashman. In the second month, Bashiva Vasimyam, the earth was completely dry. Studying this portion with Rashi's timeline is challenging, yet enlightening. This podcast was produced and sponsored by Daniel Aronoff.